Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome you back to the time machine. I'm Harper, and today, boy, I gotta tell you, I had no time to draw. I've got a weird, chopped up work schedule, and it's just not worth it to get all the stuff out, be drawing or painting, and then, right in the middle of it, Zoom call with my boss. And I definitely didn't have any time to make a video. So what am I doing here? On your screen, talking in your ears. Well, I'm going to tell you all about it right after this important message from Time Magazine. Hi, I'm Jenny, an operator here at Time. Remember, if you call right now, we'll send you Time at almost half off the cover price. And you'll also get free the Time Alarm Clock Telephone with special features like snooze alarm and automatic redial. This offer won't last long, so call now. So there I was, sitting in my office, waiting for the higher-ups to make a decision about the project I had just turned in. There was going to be a phone call, some discussion, and hopefully a decision. But when? I don't know. That's just it. I'm sort of on call for the day. Yeah, maybe I'll draw something tomorrow. Dude, seriously, I don't have the time to make a video right now. I gotta set up the lights and camera, get out the paints and brushes, and then once I get into the mode of painting, art making, supersonic creating, I could get an email or a phone call at any time about the current project at work. And then I gotta drop what I'm doing, wash out the brushes, pull down the camera because it's my phone and I need my phone for work and blah, 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 blah. Plus, it's already 2.45 in the afternoon and I was gonna make tilapia and rice for dinner at 5.30 so we could go to the dog park at 6.30. That leaves me with only a weird two and a half, three hour window of maybe I'm going to get interrupted, maybe I'm not. I'm either waiting around for nothing or being told there are changes to make and then making those changes. Yeah, I know. So what do I do? Fart around on the internet? Watch some videos? Take a nap? I got to tell you, friends, all three crossed my mind. But you know what I did instead? That's right. I started scrolling through Instagram wasting time, looking at stuff other people were making. But luckily, only a couple of minutes into my scroll session, I saw a super cool painting by Ashley Wood. And of course, my brain goes, hmm, I like that background technique. I wonder if I could do that, but with like a green and a red, and I could just at least goof around in my sketchbook, right, until somebody calls me. I mean, like I always say, it doesn't have to be a masterpiece. No, no, I don't have the time. I've got a full schedule today. I could be pulled away at any moment for work. And then my brain goes, dude, it's not like you're a firefighter or a transplant surgeon or something important. <laughs> hey, brain, that's not very nice. All right, you get the point. It's a worldwide pain in the ass when you got to stop what you're doing, especially when you're really into it. Switch gears and do something that's way less exciting. But guess what, friends? It's very rare that you're going to have a nice 5 or 6 or 12 hour block of time that you can just set aside to go deep, deep, deep into the full attention creation zone. That place where you lose track of time, space, and sometimes where you put your coffee. It's just that usually, that ain't going to happen. So you got to work with what you got. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's the rest of the story. My boss never called. So if I had waited around and not started painting, it would have been just another wasted afternoon. Now, I'm not saying, ooh, ooh, look at me, I'm a champion, I'm a hero up on my high horse telling you plebes to get with the program or anything. Believe me, I'm not. Because seven or eight or nine times out of ten, I'm just going to goof off and waste the day. But this time... I actually did something. I took advantage of the time I had and I made something. I made this useless painting of a skull wearing a hat for some reason. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll be right back. I have to go cry alone in a dark room. Hey, it's me, I'm back. Sometimes a good cry is just what you need, you know? 
Hemingway, for this painting, I blocked in a quick drawing with a red pencil and then laid down some red and green watercolor paint for a base on the figure. Then I dropped in a burnt umber slop fest to crush down that white background. Next, I started to pull the lights and push the darks with a nonsensical combo pack of watercolor and acrylics. Friends, I never went to school. I'm just making this shit up as I go. And you can too. That's just some unbleached white mixed with gray and green on the skull. Fascinating. Not sure why I put a little baby cactus on his hat. It just seemed right. It made sense at the time. Now I've got a tendency to go too light, too fast, so I have to go back and knock down the hot spots as I move through the painting. And finally, I'm using a mix of unbleached white and yellow oxide to paint out portions of the background to really make that Skull Ranger pop. And stuff with pop pop pops, and now I'm completely off script. I don't know where I am. Can't find behind la 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 la. Oh, but I do know this. Overall, I like this image. It was quick and fun to make, and it looks pretty cool. Well, I'm afraid it's that time again, friends. If you'd like to see even more hot sketchbook action, cool stories about art and life, and dad jokes, check out these rad videos right here. And if you thought this video was better than another sweaty summer in the city of Phoenix, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon so you'll never miss another sketchbook video right here on the Time Machine. Thank you so much for watching. I couldn't fail this big without you.